Hi everybody, this, um, this tutorial is about uh, how to get this um, kind of textured effect that you can, uh, you can see here. Um, it was made popular, at least in the wedding community, by, uh, by this guy right here, Jesh de Rocks. He's a fantastic photographer, um, a fellow Canadian, and uh, you should definitely check out his work. He, he is fantastic. So I thought um, I'd, I'd like to show you, I don't know his technique, but I thought I'd show you my take on it and, um, and how I would achieve uh, something like this. So I already have my images open here. This is uh, from a wedding uh, last summer. Um, and I have some um, some images here of just, uh, you know, you can take them of anything. I, I don't know where I got these. These are just some paper, um, some old um, whatever. Um, you can basically just take photos of anything and you never know what is going to, uh, what's going to work out. So your first step is uh, to make sure you're over here on the selection tool. If you're not, you can uh, press V on your keyboard and, uh, and that will automatically bring up the selection tool and uh, you just uh, drag it over um, to here. And uh, on this image here, you, what, um, the first step is to uh, play around with your blending modes which is right over here, make sure that uh, this layer is still uh, selected and you just, uh, you can go through them until you find something uh, that looks good to you. Um, color burn, no. Um, usually what's going to work out are uh, the blending modes, either multiply, which you can see here, uh, it definitely doesn't work out, um, but you can bring it back, the opacity, and maybe maybe it will. Uh, we'll try something else. Um, screen sometimes works. That. That uh, screen always uh, it makes things brighter. So uh, you can see here, it's uh, you're still getting your textured effect over it, and uh, you can pull it back if that's what you like. You can uh, always check by clicking here, uh, before and after. Let's put it back to 100% and check out the other ones. Another one that often works is overlay, which uh, this is definitely uh, getting there, getting better um, for what uh, the kind of effect that uh, that looks the best on here. Um, then another two that work are uh, soft light, and uh, that again I actually uh, I think I like that more than overlay and uh, hard light, which will sometimes work, especially if you're going for uh, for something with a lot more dramatic um, of a look, um, and sometimes uh, down here. Uh, definitely not on this. Um, luminosity will sometimes work. Color, really, just uh, just play around with them and uh, and see what uh, what looks the best for you. So, uh, what I'm probably going to do is uh, keep it on here on uh, soft light mode. It's uh, it's giving somewhat of uh, an interesting effect. Um, what you should know is. Um, if you want to dial down the effect in certain areas, it's actually very, very easy to do. You can uh, make sure, again, that your textured layer is selected. Um, select down here, this, uh, this little circle um, thing, which uh, brings up a layer mask, and click on a brush. Um, you can, and make, I usually work with soft edge brushes, depending, depending on what I'm doing. Select an appropriate size. Um, click back on here and what you want to do is um, if you want to remove things you want to paint with black if you want to bring stuff back out you paint with white so I'll show you what I mean here oh and just uh, just uh, for you to know you have your um, opacity of your brush up here when you're doing something like this you kind of want to keep your opacity a bit low so it's not a full out um, a full out effect full out removing and uh, also another little shortcut that I'll tell you now is if you use your bracket keys, you can then adjust your, uh, your brush size. So what you do, remember painting with black and you just go over what you want to, uh, to come to erase here. You don't like the effect that it's making here, maybe on the face. That kind of thing. Again, that's way too strong um, for my liking, so I'll go back up to the history tab and bring it back to where I was and bring down the opacity even more and then start to paint again. And you can see it's just removing a little bit of the grunge from, from their skin. 
Special, it's especially noticeable here in her arm and maybe on the flowers. You don't want them to be as grungy. Um, you can see it just, just pulling it back a little just uh, adds a bit of impact and, uh, and really just, uh, just whatever, uh, whatever looks good to you. Um, you can also, another thing is to stack layers on top of each other. So again, we have another just random paper, um, paper uh, texture here. I just uh, press V to, uh, to bring back my selection tool and you do the exact same thing. Just slide it over and play around with your blending modes. So that might actually look good if you want to, I don't know if you want to blow it out. Um, soft light again, just adding a bit more grunge to your image. And um, again, uh, you can bring in a layer mask by clicking down here, go back to your brush. I just press B, that'll bring up your brush. And if you wanted, you could do the same thing. Bring back some of it on his hand. Maybe a bit back on the dress to make it glow a bit more. It's really whatever looks good to you. Um, and that just gives you the, the basics on how, how to do this sort, of, uh, this sort of effect. You can bring in as many textures as you like. Um, and you're always free to switch blending modes afterwards. Say, you don't like that as much, you can do that. You can see more now where, where I brought it, the original image back. To me, that doesn't look very good. So switch. Vivid light's gonna be even more harsh. Um, so really, that's, uh, that's the basics, how you do uh, that sort of effect. And really what I wanna emphasize is to just experiment and play around with your image because you never know whenever you're experimenting when something is going to uh, look different and uh, look, uh, look good to you. So uh, I guess that's uh, all for now. Thanks a lot for watching.